we start off with how to set your profile up. Now we're going to go into a little message game. Mr. Cooper. When and how? And how to get down with it. So the first uh, piece of advice I'll give you guys is block out t a specific time for messaging girls. Uh, I'm, I'm going to sort of, I'm actually going to combine this with this. Yeah, yeah these two together. Because they're both kind of telling each other. The, the, most, the most prime times for dating apps, like Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, or whatever, is between the hours of 6 to 8 p.m. That's when girls are home from work. 6 to 8 p.m., if they're on the app, they're not on a date, right? They're sit, they sitting around eating dinner, talking with their cat. Drinking box wine. Doing, doing, what, doing what single girls do. Yeah. <laughs> and they're on the phone. Right, chill and watch Netflix on their phone. Right, so the first, six to eight PM is the first thing to consider. The second thing to consider is the day you spend more time and energy on the dating apps, and I would highly recommend that be Sunday and Monday evenings, because those are the days when girls, again, are most bored and lonely. So you you get on there Sunday, Monday evening, six to eight PM, prime the prime hours, and you use those time periods to text and go over what. Justin's going to tell you next yeah. and set up the dates for the rest of the week. Yeah. It, it, and, and so the timing is really important. In addition to that, you want to, you want to block it out. And that's the only thing you're doing at one time. Mm. And, and the reason that you want to do it all at one time is because like message all the girls, all the girls. All so um, one thing that's going to come later in here is that you should have an opener. You should copy and paste that opener multiple times, 10, 15, 20 times. And the reason you should do that is because, and also I advise that you actually text a couple of ugly girls and it sounds retarded, but it'll make sense. If you text all these girls, normally a guy, he'll just text the one pretty girl. Well, dude, she might be at work. And that message sits there and sits there and sits there and you can get in your own head. It's like you want to take the message back and the next thing you know, you double text, which is absolutely not something you want to do. So when you're texting, your game has like this, this multiplier because you have less risk. So you can be a little loose. And so texting multiple girls. So if that one girl doesn't answer you, but three more do, you're not spending your time thinking about that girl. Think, oh, was that a stupid thing to say? Was that too far? You're talking to these other girls that actually answered. So it kind of builds this internal swag for you and it keeps you in an abundance mode. So I definitely would never advise a guy, but man, when I was in college, dude, I would text three, four, five, six, seven, all at the same time. And the more I did it and the more responses that were positive, the more swag I had. And I was able to hold that confidence. confidence builds, yeah. yeah, your confidence builds and builds and builds and builds. And then you stop, um, you stop really getting in your own head about it. Another, another thing that's not on here, and it just hit me, if a girl's really, really pretty, and you already know she's pretty, when I'm texting her, I absolutely do not look at her photos any longer. Yeah. Because it can, it can cause this weird kind of pressure, you know, that's not really necessary. So let her be an avatar in your mind, and you treat her like the rest of the women, mm. and it's, it'll maximize your confidence moving forward. That's a fantastic it, yeah, dude, it's a cheat code, man, because some of these, dude, if you got a baddie on the hook, it's like having a big fish on the line. You like start freaking the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to do that, man. You, you want to set the drag and just let it roll. So um, don't look at hot girls' photos. Like once you start texting them, don't look at their photos anymore, man, because that, that can put pressure that's not really unnecessary. And then, te and then text in abundance, man. And that's why you should text at one time. And um, that'll really help you out. Uh, Sterling Sterling's really big on this next one. Every time he comes back from boxing, he uh, opens the laptop, so I'll let him have it. <laughs> well, for, so for me, I get, I'm get i like more of an introverted guy. Jay's a very, very extroverted guy, yeah. quite naturally. So for me, I'm not always in that kind of social mood, and some of you guys might relate to that. I'm, I'm more of like you know, a, a thinker. I'm on my laptop all the time. I'm yeah. that kind of, kind of guy. Yeah. So, but what I notice about myself is after I exercise, I'm in a very social yeah playful, confident, fun mood. Mm -hmm. That is the perfect time to jump on dating apps for 30 minutes or whatever and start sending out messages and replying to girls because you're in that social mood. So 
do like an order of yourself and your own mood and see what thing, maybe it's from all the guys, it probably is the gym or boxing or whatever it is. But do an order on yourself and realize when, what things do I do throughout the day? What hobbies or habits that I do that put me in a really fun, happy social mood? Recognize that and then use that to your advantage and do jump on the dating apps after right. you do that. Right. All right. Well, that leads us to our next one. This one's really important, actually. Dude, don't text chicks when you're horny. It's dumb. It's like going to the grocery store when you're horny. <laughs> I mean, hungry. <laughs> you just, you just go. Walk around that grocery store yeah. with a big fat. Yeah, it's a big hog. <laughs> it's no, a idea. no, no. It's like, it's like when you go to the grocery store when you're hungry, man, you just buy too much shit, you know? And uh, if you're texting girls when you're, when you're, kind of in the mood man it makes you reach too much they can tell yeah they can tell and it feels needy or it feels aggressive which pushes them away you really want to absorb women um not not run them down because they'll just run away from you so try not to text girls when you're super super horny because uh that'll really that'll really mess things up for you um